Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we're gonna talk about this uh, simple stacking ring design and the flush set setting. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to start at the front view and we are going to make a circle for radius 8 or diameter 416. And let's bring in the stone. The stone size right here is about 2 mm brown stone and if you want to know how to make this stone I have a video uh, to show you how to make them. Now we wanted to know like how much they are going to spread it out in this ring so that's using the command polar array. Basically we wanted to know where the stone is going to be. So the center is going to be 0 and I'm going to use 12 of them. So it's easier for me to do the calculation. Okay, so now we can come in over here since we have the stone, we can draw the profile. Again, I like to use the conic corners. In many of my design, they just look much nicer. I want to use the three point and the first one I want to snap in into the quadrant. So make sure you all snap on the quadrant is on. And then uh, depends on how wide you want it to have. You want it to, this to be a little bit taller then the stone that you have just a little bit you don't need to make it too tall otherwise your stone will sit really deep the second thing we wanted to do is just moving this back to the quadrant so that is right in the middle okay so our goal is to make wherever it's coming into the stone is bigger and when it coming to somewhere in the middle it is smaller on our profile so they will have that ripple looking things uh, outlined there um, I'm going to go back to the front view right here and let's go ahead to use the uh, rotate tool. Now because we divided by 12 of them, so somewhere in between those two degrees will be 360 divided by 12, that will be 30. Somewhere in the middle, that will be 15. So we want to make a copy and I'm just going to type in minus 15, uh, hit enter, then also 15 and hit enter then you will have two of over there now for those two well actually i just need one i'm going to delete one just mirror to the other side i think that will be easier so this one i want him to go a little bit narrow and not only go narrow i also want it to be um shorter so it's harder to scale right now um, but if you use the 1D scale instead of gumbo, you can snap in into this point, this point, and bring it back. So you will have something like that. All right, if that is the size that you like, let's go ahead to mirror to the other side. Something like this. To creating this section here, we are going to use the sweep one rail. And this is the rail cross, cross, and cross. And then make sure that all the uh, arrow is aligned in the inside of the ring shank right in the middle and facing the same direction. So then you will get something like this. Okay, so that will be one there. Now we also need to make a cutter for the metal, um, to the metal for the stone to sit in. So let's go ahead um, to draw the profile, something like this. You can draw it just a little bit smaller than the stone. That's fine because your jeweler does need uh, some room to cut the stone. So then I have this profile right here. We're gonna make it into a solid by using the revolve command. Hit zero, holding your shift. So then you will got this uh, 360 degree surface. Then you get something like this. We can simply just using the cap command to close it. Let me turn them into the green color so you know what I'm doing there. I need to cut an opening right there. Okay, so now since we have 12 stone, so we are going to have 12 of them. The same um, command for polar array. We're going to stick here for 12 of them. And then uh, 360 degrees, so then we'll get all of this, right? So then you can see one is in, one is out, in and out. Um, and then you probably wanted to join them together. So this double make sure that this is a closed solid poly surface on my property here. 
want to keep a good habit like checking everything if they are close solid polished surface while you are doing each of a part you don't want to check it on the very last step then you might regret because they are not solid you cannot bowling okay so the last things that we wanted to do is we're gonna click bowling difference this and rest of the cutter we want to cut them out all right, so now our stone is sitting inside. Let me change the stone colors easier for you to see. Uh, I'm going to select the mesh and then change to a cyan color. So now our stone is sitting inside nicely. All you need to do is create a multiple, arrange them for the better rendering. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Whether you are a beginner or you are more advanced jewelry CAD designer, there are three things you need to know to boost your jewelry CAD design skill. I have a free webinar for you and the link is in the description below. Hope you like it and thank you for watching and I'll see you next.